I genuinely cannot believe this is really happening right now, but we are really getting horses in The Sims 4 and everything leaked on Steam. We will get into it, but oh my god, we have a lot to discuss today. So I knew we were gonna get something today, but I didn't think it was gonna be big enough to make a video on. There was supposed to be some sort of drop of a new Simlish cover and a new radio station, and people were kind of discussing how it looks like these books maybe are the base game ones with new swatches. So here I thought today I would maybe make a video on a little tiny SD drop if it was big enough to justify a whole video. And then 1pm rolls around when I'm expecting the drop to happen, and instead we get this tweet that says, take the reins this season with The Sims. And it's a little video teaser of this quarter's packs that are coming, which I didn't expect to happen so soon. But more so, <laughs> it says, take the reins between June and September, a rootin' tootin' expansion, two bold kits, behind The Sims, and more. Sorry, Hold on. A what? A rootin' tootin' what? An expansion? An expansion pack? So this horse pack, clearly from that leak, is real. There was a listing that popped up on places like CD Keys and stuff like that for an expansion pack called Horse Ranch coming out in July. And we were all kind of like, maybe it's real, but it seems like it's too soon to be real. No, it's real. So real, in fact, that a trailer is coming out this week. They posted, there's a new trailer on the horizon. Giddy up for good news coming soon. And this YouTube link is to a premiere that's supposed to happen in 47 hours. So like, in literally two days, they're dropping the trailer for this expansion pack, which I must say is so inconvenient for me. I don't mean to complain, but I am literally flying to California on Thursday for VidCon. Like, I am flying across the country when this trailer is dropping. I just want to make a reaction video. I want to make a reaction video so bad, but I'm gonna be like at the hotel. I have a meet and greet at VidCon on Thursday. It feels like this always happens to me. Every time I'm busy, something is happening. The one day I'm flying to California, come on. The day of the flight, the day of my meet and greet at VidCon, <sighs> it's fine. It's fine, I'll figure something out. I just don't know if I'm gonna have a prompt trailer reaction like I normally would because I'm gonna be in Anaheim. I do not understand how this keeps happening with expansion packs. With Cottage Living, Dan was literally moving to America the day that it came out. We waited years because of COVID with the restrictions and stuff for him to finally get his visa. And then the day that he's moving, we get Cottage Living. I'm going to VidCon for the first time as a featured creator. The one day that I'm flying, the one day that I'm busy because of my meet and greet, the trailer drops. So let me know next time you want an expansion pack, I'll, I'll go somewhere, I'll, I'll fly somewhere, because clearly their schedule is just when Kayla is gone <laughs> for these release dates. It'll be okay, I'll, I'll figure out a video, I'll, I'll try and make something from the hotel. It just might not be as prompt as my usual trailer reactions, but we do have a little bit more than that tiny teaser to go off of today because there was a huge leak on Steam. This happens sometimes, especially when things get announced, like Steam just went live with this page earlier than it should have. But I should warn you, this is the full feature list, so if you don't want spoilers, click away. This stuff will probably all get posted for real on Thursday, but if you want to see it now, I'm gonna show you the Steam page. We got everything. The cover art, the screenshots for The Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack, which I won't lie, I don't love the name of. I was really holding out hope for The Sims 4 horsing around. I guess this will do, but it, it does feel like a missed opportunity. I want to go through all these screenshots individually and just like stare at and break apart everything in them. In this first one, it looks like they're square dancing, so we probably have a new dance type. It looks kind of like an old saloon vibe to the building. I'm seeing some really nice like old wooden new fences and spandrels. We've got a cool new stone. I'm not sure if Sims can drink out of bottles right now now, so that might be new. There's a lot of new clothing, new cowboy hats. When I move my face, you can see a little bit of the world back here, which is kind of interesting. We've got this kind of cool cow pattern on these chairs, and I think this is a new wooden dance floor. I also really, really like this outfit with the cow print. Oh my god, wait, he's pouring himself a drink out of that bottle. Okay, this bottle thing must be a feature. And then in this next screenshot, our questions are answered, because I think this is a new, like, juice making machine. It looks like the wine machine from The Sims 3. In The Sims 3, you could like step in a barrel of grapes, basically. It came with World Adventures and you could make wine that way, and this looks exactly like that. So I'm assuming we're gonna get some new wine making features in this pack. And I think that's probably the only major feature in this picture. I'm not really seeing anything else big, no. Oh, I guess, I mean, there's that. The, um, the horse. There's actually two horses in this picture. We've got a person riding one, a child riding one back here. This person is petting the horse. We've got a little tiny sheep and also a goat right here. I think that's a poop. 
like a horse poop. There's a very beautiful blue suburban barn in the background. I love these barn doors that I'm seeing. I think this might be like a horse trailer back there. I'm not really an expert on horses, so I don't, I don't really know a lot. I know a little. I want to talk more about the horses specifically after I go through all of these because there's a lot of things I want to point out about them. In this next one, you can see a little bit more of the horse. We're brushing it here. We've got another one of those tiny sheep and a goat back here rolling around. It looks like this is maybe the inside of a barn. So we have a stable right here. There's some water. There's like a feeding trough with some hay. This ceiling feels very strategically placed in this image. I think it means we're going to get the option to paint them. It's going to probably work just like the floors do. You can just put like a floor tile on the ceiling, which clearly they have done. It's the same on both, but I'm so glad we're getting that. I complain about this constantly. I've been begging for ceiling paint for years, so I am really, really excited about that possibility. In this image, we can see a lot more of the world. It kind of has like deserty Arizona vibes almost. From this, it feels maybe even a little bit like Strangerville, just less orange. Hard to make a judgment call on it because we haven't seen it yet. Like all we've seen is this, but I'm kind of liking it. This building appears to be the like tournament building for your horse competitions. So we can see right here some horses kind of running around in the ring. They're jumping and, and running and stuff. We've, we've maybe got a house back here in the background. I would guess that potentially a simmer, like a member of the community built this for the pack. And looking at this building, I can't really tell if it's a real building or if it's a shell of a building. The windows are kind of throwing me here. It's making me think that maybe it's not a real building and it's just a shell. So maybe it's a rabbit hole in game. In The Sims 3, this thing was a rabbit hole. You would just have your Sims go in there and they would do the competition on their own and then come back out. So I don't really care about going in there to see it. The whole thing looks very similar to The Sims 3 building, which I kind of like because I loved The Sims 3 pets pack. I loved horses in The Sims 3. I'm liking a lot of things that I'm seeing. There's some little details like this horseshoe topiary and this golden horse statue that kind of excite me. But more so, I'm really curious about the actual gameplay of the horses. They're telling us from this that there's going to be competitions and there's going to be like the ability to ride and jump with them and stuff. And then in this last screenshot, very, very very chill. It's just like a guy in a rocking chair kind of sitting on the porch, but we can see some more of the background. I'm a little more interested in discussing like the features of the horses themselves though, because I can only assume there's going to be a really detailed create a sim situation for horses. I'm guessing it's going to work a lot like how cats and dogs do, where you can pick breeds, but you can also really customize your own thing. I'm guessing we can also paint them, like how you can paint werewolves and cats and dogs and stuff. I'm going to read you some notes that my horse girlfriend has noticed because she knows more about this than I do and I, I wouldn't have picked out this stuff myself. So first, she noticed some really cool customization things, like how one of them had feathers and also like unnaturally colored manes and tails. But I guess they also have a lot of tack options, including accessories like breastplates and both English and Western stuff. Also in this one, somebody is barrel racing, which is a common discipline at rodeos. My friend Hope is the horse girl and she does the closed captions for our YouTube video. So she's gonna laugh because I just directly quoted like everything she said to me. Even just from this picture, we can see a lot of variation in customization options. Like I think this horse has a blue tail. It looks like maybe this one is painted on, but I can't really tell. We got some different outfits. I think outfit is the wrong word, but you know what I mean? We got like different accessories. This one is wearing a very tiny cowboy hat, which I really, really like. And then obviously we also have the other tiny animals. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm into it. That's enough speculating though, because we got a feature list on that Steam page as well. I'm going to link this article from Sims community down below so you can see it up close for yourselves. Okay. Sims Four horse ranch key features. I haven't read this yet. First of all, the Rockin' Rancher digital content. Treat your sim to some relaxation after a hard day's work with a resonator guitar, wagon wheel art, and rustic rocking chair. Oh my god. Okay, so this image is, that's why it's such a weird screenshot. This is the bonus content for the pre-order. So if you buy the pack early, you get this thing, the rocking chair, and the guitar. I'm gonna ignore that because I don't agree with the early purchase bonus item thing. So scrolling past, <laughs> and the first thing is make a life. Get up early in the morning, look out at the big open countryside, and know that all your work is worth it. Spend your days keeping your animals happy and clean, harvesting prairie grass to feed them, collecting a horse manure to fertilize your plants, and making your own nectar to sell. Do it all on a ranch you design, whether that means a traditional cabin or a big red barn. I can already see the like, why isn't this in cottage living questions, but I feel like the ranch vibes 
and the like British farm vibes are really different. I don't know about this prairie grass thing, but I do like the idea of horse manure as a game feature. I can make an entire rags to riches on poop. Could you imagine? Anyway, also bond with animals. Fill your ranch with animal friends and carve out a life together. Your horses, including adorable foals, are part of your household and have lots of special interactions with both Sims and other horses. You can also care for mini goats and mini sheep and invite neighbors to come see how cute they are. Oh my God. The mini goat and mini sheep thing I did not expect and that I think is fun. They're really cute in those screenshots. Also join a thriving community. Living on a ranch has its moments of peace and solitude, but there's also a lively social scene. Your sims can go into town to meet friends at the bar, blow off steam at the dance hall, or train at the equestrian park. They can also host events like cookouts and dances on their own property and hire a ranch hand to help when the work builds up. Ooh, that's actually useful. It is a lot of work to run stuff like this from your house in games, so I like the idea of having help. And probably most importantly, raise horses. Horses are a part of the family. Customize your hoofed friends and create a sim or get new horses by rescuing or purchasing them. Foals can also be born on your ranch. Oh my gosh. And sims can learn the riding skill and horses can train in the agility and jumping skills. Skilled horses and riders can even win awards at the equestrian center. So very similar to The Sims 3, it seems like. I'm guessing the actual horse gameplay is very similar to Sims 3. And then like the other stuff to fill up the pack is like the community aspect and like the, the ranching gameplay where you're like running a ranch to yourself. I'm curious to see how it's gonna fill a whole expansion pack, but I acknowledge that horses are huge, so it, it does take a lot to make them. I'm actually really into the idea of the nectar making. I feel like they've taken a couple of my favorite things from The Sims 3 and then put it into this pack. Oh, hold on, I'm getting one more update from my horse girlfriend. She says, not much promotion of helmet safety, dot, dot, dot. I think the person jumping has a helmet. Let's find out. No helmet. No helmet. Helmet? Maybe a helmet? Look, I'm not that concerned, but it is interesting to consider. It's making me curious what the cast options for humans are gonna be like. Cause we saw a couple things, but like this is so zoomed out, I can't, I can't really tell. So there's not actually a release date on this Steam page. It says release date June 20th, which is today. So I don't think that's right. I actually think the real release date might be July 20th because that was on that previous leak from last week. I guess we'll find out when the trailer drops on Thursday. Oh, I'm so sad that it's coming out on Thursday. It's like the one day that I'm busy. I'm flying all the way from Orlando to California on Thursday and it's like five hours and then I've got to get my badge. I've got to go and do my meet and greet on Thursday afternoon. So I just, I don't know if I'm going to have time to make a video on Thursday. Before I go, I think there still was an SDX drop today. So I'm going to check that really quickly. It kind of got overshadowed by the, you know, giant horse leak. Sims delivery incoming. Okay. So Close the game and reopen. Thank you. Oh, new family fortune scenario. Okay. Play with the Landry household. Three squabbling siblings scheme to get their hands on their grandmother's fortune. However, the family matriarch only plans to award her inheritance to those that prove themselves worthy. Will you compete or cooperate to earn grandma's favor and potentially her millions of simoleons? Oh my gosh. So you've got a starting household and then a couple endings where you can like impress or disappoint grandma. Interesting. I love when they do these like little storyline scenarios for us. I can't play the new radio station because it's copyright, but it is pretty cool that we have that. And they do these like simlish covers of real life music that gets added to the game. So definitely check that out. Groove to classic throwbacks on the new R&B station alongside the new simlish cover of What's Love. It sounds like it wouldn't get copyrighted, but it does. Trust me, I've got the radio muted always because it's a simlish cover of a real song. So it sounds the same as the real song. They're just singing not in English, they're singing in a fake language, basically. But I do like when they do that. I think them adding new radio stations is a really nice gameplay feature. It's almost like an Easter egg, because I feel like not that many people listen to the radio in-game, but it's really cool that there's real music in it. And the other thing is new swatches on this item. Oh my God, look at how many there are. There used to be only three. No way. Oh my gosh. We used to have that one, that one, and that one. And now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more swatches. Oh my gosh. It seems like such a small 
small thing, but I use this bookshelf literally everywhere. I probably put more than one of these in like every single build I ever make. So this is huge that they did this. I think that this matches all the book nook swatches from the new kit. Do you know what? It even has like some different variants on the spines because before they were just all plain. This one's a little bit more interesting. Oh my God. I love when they go back and give us more swatches on base game stuff. That to me is huge. Now, if they could just simply go back and do that on everything, that would be really great. Thank you, SimSteam. But I think on that note, I should probably end this video right here. I'm so curious to hear your thoughts on horses because I loved horses in The Sims 3. So I'm kind of thriving right now thinking about them coming to The Sims 4. I really just didn't think they would ever do this. Like I really truly believed we would never get horses in The Sims 4. So this is kind of a fun surprise. Wish me luck with VidCon. Maybe I'll see you at VidCon and we can all laugh and, and maybe cry about the trailer together on Thursday. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, I make all kinds of Sims news stuff like this. So stay tuned for my trailer reaction in a couple days, hopefully as soon as I can, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my god, I cannot believe this is happening. I did not expect this today.